Hello, I'm Stephen Pratchner from the PIX team at Microsoft. This is the first in a series of videos that introduce you to PIX, the game-focused profiling tool from Microsoft for Windows games. PIX is the profiler that's used by game studios to optimize the PC build of their 64-bit C++ DirectX 12 games. Note that PIX can't be used to profile 32-bit games, and it's not particularly useful when profiling games that are written in managed code. Use PIX to solve lots of performance problems that are common in games, including problems related to the GPU, CPU, memory, or file I.O. For example, PIX is great at helping you diagnose spikes in frame time, finding memory leaks, or finding inefficient file I.O. patterns, along with other common issues that affect game performance. In this video, I'll introduce the two PIX capture types, GPU captures and timing captures, and then we'll look at how to start and stop captures. Let's get started by opening PIX and doing a quick tour of the two buttons you'll use most often. These two buttons, GPU Capture and Start Timing Capture, are used to take performance traces called captures from the PIX UI. GPU captures record all the DirectX 12 GPU work submitted by the game. This GPU work can later be replayed, giving you a wide range of GPU debugging and performance analysis features. Timing captures are primarily used to diagnose issues that are related to CPU, memory, and file I.O., although there is also some GPU data included in timing captures. For example, use this data to see when work submitted by the CPU is run on the GPU. Before taking a capture from the PIX UI, you'll need to launch your game from PIX or attach PIX to an instance of your game that is already running. Use the Launch Win32 tab to launch your game. Enter the path to your executable and the working directory. Optionally, you can enter command line arguments or any environment variables to set in your game's process. If you intend to take a GPU capture before launching your game, you must select the Launch for GPU Capture checkbox. Specifying your intention up front for taking a GPU capture is required because the PIX capture engine must be loaded into your game's process before any DirectX 12 calls are made. You can also take a GPU capture by attaching to a game that is already running. To do so, the game must have manually loaded the WinPix GPU Capturer DLL in the PIX directory before the game creates its DirectX 12 device. After doing so, you can attach PIX and then take a GPU capture. If you intend to take a timing capture, don't select the Launch for GPU Capture checkbox before launching your game. Before taking a timing capture, you can also connect PIX to a game that is already running. Use the Attach tab to do so. I'm going to select a game from the list and then select the Attach button. After attaching PIX to my game, the GPU Capture button isn't available because this game wasn't launched for GPU captures. However, the Start Timing Capture button is available. Also note that both GPU captures and timing captures have several options that you can select before starting a capture. For GPU captures, for example, you can select the number of frames to capture. And for timing captures, there are a variety of options for the types of data to collect, along with various data collection rates. Let's start a timing capture by using the default options. I'll let the capture run for a bit. And then selecting the Stop button opens the timing capture to a summary layout that provides some analysis that PIX does up front to give you a head start in identifying performance issues in your game. In the next video in this series, I'll describe the types of data that PIX displays. I'll also go through the steps required to add instrumentation to your game using the PIX APIs. We'll then have the knowledge we need to begin using PIX to diagnose common performance issues that occur in Windows games.